What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today my voice is gone. It's hot out. We're going to show you how to install these equipment defender trimmer racks. Blower racks going to work the same way but I'm going to show you step by step of how to do it. Even though I've already got most of it together, I haven't put it together yet. So I'm going to show you step by step guys, tell you exactly how I do it and maybe this will help you. So well, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I level my trailer. Make sure your trailer's level and you'll be good, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is I take my post because I like mine to sit right above it, if you can tell. So I take my post and I line it up here and then I put a level on the side. Got a level here, put a level on it, make sure it's level, where's the level there? Level right there, and then I mark it right there. So now we got our mark. Now here's the easy part. You take your tape measure, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. From here, where it stops at, down to here, it's five inches. I measure five and one eighth inch from my mark. I got my mark, I come up. Actually, we'll just do it. I come up five and one eighth inch from my mark. So I'll go to my five and one eighth, and I make my mark through here. Now, here's where the, my rail is. Here's where I need to cut. And then when I set these down on top of it, as you can tell, whew, as you can tell, they set right there at it. Pretty flush. And that's how I like it. All right, next step, you cut that off. Get your saws off. A blade, I use, uh, I'll, I'll show you actually. All right, the next step is cut that post. I prefer the Milwaukee Sawzall. And the reason I prefer the Milwaukee over the DeWalt is for one, it has a lock feature. For two, if you loosen this bottom up here, you can adjust this of how much you want to cut. So that's awesome, I like that. Plus it, the lock feature. All right, so you get your Sawzall or whatever you want, skill saw with a carbide blade, whatever. You cut your post down. Step one, complete. That's the hardest step of this whole thing. That's not even hard. So, next, what I do, Next is what I do is I'm going to take and I'm going to stick this. Once I cut it down, I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to tighten these Allen screws and get it tight. I'm going to stick it up against my rail. <coughs> I'm going to throw a level on it. I'm going to make sure it's level. Once I know that that's level, then the next thing I'm going to do I'm gonna mark my holes here in the back. <coughs> so I'll put my bracket up against it, take my little screwdriver or whatever you wanna use and make my little circles. Then I move this whole rack completely out of the way. I drill my two holes, two holes drilled. Stick this up there. I find my level spot once again. So I'll put my level on it. Then I find my level. All right, so I'm level there. Then I've got two holes in the back here. Step by step walkthrough, guys. I got two holes in the back, okay? 
I take my drill bit, three eighths, all these holes are three eighths drilled. Take my drill bit and I'm drilling my two holes. Boom, that's done. Now then, I'm just gonna step by step you here because this is, it's real easy to do, nothing hard about it. <coughs> all right, so the bolts that go through here, let me get them. All right, you got these two bolts and you got some washers and nuts. Okay, this nut is a 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter fits it perfect. So what I do is I take my bolt, I put it in there, I got a little mallet. I take my mallet and I hit it down. Once again, take my mallet and I hit it down. Now I'm going to get underneath the trailer and I'm going to put the washer on, the nut on, and I'm going to tighten it up. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to get underneath the trailer and as you see my bolts. All right, so we put a, we put a washer on. Washer. And we take our nine, I'm trying to do this with one hand plus hold the camera, so. All right, washer, nut. All right, now we do the same thing over here. Cause the tight, it's gonna keep tight up top. So you ain't gotta worry about it moving. It'll stay tight. As long as you hit that end some, it'll be good. You won't have no worries. Take your other. Washer and bolt, put it on. Now I'm gonna take my impact. Tighten it up. Do it again over here. I said I was. All right, so now we're good on that. Got that? All right, moving on. Now then, we're level. We got our rack straight. So now you're good on that. Now we can tighten these. Okay, so let's tighten them real fast. All right, now we got these tight. These are tight, these are tight. Our bottom bolts are tight. And we're level. This is done. This ain't going nowhere. As you can tell, it's moving the whole freaking trailer. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to put these uh, motor mounts on. And then we'll do the other side and I'll show y'all how I do that. So let's go to the motor mounts. All right, guys, so you have your engine supports. And there's a bag that's marked. It says hardware for engine support brackets. Comes with two bolts, some uh, washers, lock washers. So yeah, all right. So you're gonna open this pack. And pull everything out of it here. Comes with an Allen key, two big bolts, two washers, two lock washers. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a, our bolt, washer, lock washer. And this is the order it's gonna go in. You're gonna put your lock washer on, then you're gonna put your washer on, okay? Now, after that, we're gonna grab one of these. One's gonna go down the bottom. And it's gonna sit right in place here, so you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. Tighten it up. 
This is probably going to be a 17 mil. It is. Got her 17. Put this on there. Tighten it up. Ta da. Alright, don't over tighten these. This is a freaking Milwaukee Impact. I should probably have it on two instead of three, but when you get so good at using this thing, it becomes second nature, I guess. I don't so then we've got our bottom one here. Start the screw on it. Put it on. Tighten it up. A little bit more. Still a little loose. There we go. All right. Your engine supports have now been started. Now I've got a long engine support bracket over here I got to get. So I take this bar. This bar is going to come down through here. And if you look, if you watch, this, uh, I guess I need to loosen this up some. Apparently so. All right, let me loosen this up some. All right, now then. So this will slide straight down in there now. This is where it gets fun because you have two of your mounting brackets are going to go here. One's going to go down here. So, once you put this in, okay, once you slide this down, these brackets need to be loosened up, of course. Now we'll put this on. Loosen it up some more, I guess. got two of them two of these are going to go up here just like that let's finish loosening these up all right so put your other one on here <coughs> tighten it up a little bit this one came way looser than the other one did And then I just snug them up a little bit with two bolts usually. That way I can move these where I want, when I want. All right, so one's going to go here, it's going to go here, and this is going to go down. And then we got one that's going to go on the bottom. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. All right, one that's going to go on the bottom here. All right, guys, so next we have these three short poles. They're going to slide in like this. And we're just going to slide this on like this. da dee da dee da All right. Got them there. Got them there. Now, this is for whenever we get these. We're going to take this. We're going to slide it in here. And we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. I just tighten them up a little that way they're not going anywhere that way all I got to do is loosen two bolts up to adjust whenever I get there Now we got our mounts. Got that mounts. Now we're done with this step until 
we do this side. So, we're gonna come to this side. I take my 13 millimeter. Okay, 13 mil. Simple as that, 13 mil. And I tighten these up. Let me move the camera here so y'all can see. There we go, all right. All right, so I'll take my 13 mil. I put my wrench on the other side that I done lost. <coughs> have no clue what that is. All right, put my wrench on one side. I don't think this is going to work on there. Oh, there we go. And I just barely tighten these up. I don't tighten the crap out of them right now. I'll wait. All right. Now I switch back to my drill bit. Get my drill bit. Get my level. Put my level on my thing here. I level up my post. Then I'm going to drill my holes in my trailer down below. So first thing you want to do is you want to get down there and make sure nothing's in the way. I have nothing there. I'm good to go. All right. Level her up, buttercup. And I am perfectly level right there. So now I'm going to grab my drill bit and I'm going to drill my hole. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm going to take my bolts. I'm gonna put them through the trailer. I'm gonna take my 17 millimeter and tighten them up just like we did on the other side. All right, guys, we got that tight. Now we're gonna tighten this. We got the bottoms tight. Throw a 13 millimeter on here. <coughs> tighten these up. Tighten this side up. already got a trimmer with blocks on it this is how I made my uh, my thing I guess you could say of where I needed it to be or go um, so basically what you're gonna do is you got your trimmer racks and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this in and lock it in place here. I've already unlocked. I've already got my blocks on my trimmer. This is how I knew where to set them. So now I'm just going to slide it in here, put it into place. There we go. Ta da. Now we can adjust our engine support exactly where we want it to be. So the next step we're going to do is let's move over here. All right. We got our Allen wrench. This is where my 2620 goes. My 280T goes down here. And then uh, <clears throat> my trimmer or my uh, edger goes up here. But now we can adjust our mounts exactly where we need them to be. So I can move this up. And what I do is I, I move it up just a little bit and I put a little pressure on it just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down because I'm pretty sure that's probably where I'm gonna want it. All right, let's tighten these other ones. All right, 
There we go. Now, I'll pull this off, put it back in, slide right on there. Should be right there at it. And, uh, I mean, yeah, you're good. I'm sitting on it. <clears throat> That's pretty much right where I'd want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. And there we go. That one's done. It's that simple, guys. I'll show you on a new trimmer exactly how I do it. We'll bring the uh, we'll bring the 280T out. I'll put blocks on it. Show you exactly how I move these and whereabouts I go. I should have enough room, but I think this is going to have to go down some, and I'm going to have to readjust this. I should have did the bottom one first, but I didn't. So let's move this and. Uh, see what we do all right so loosen these blocks up and we're going to take this off because it's got to go on the trimmer so i'll loosen one all the way up i won't loosen it i won't take them all the way out I loosen one all the way till the very end of the threads, which is about right here. Getting close, right there. All right, and then I'll tighten it back. Take this one completely out. Then I open it, put it on. Slide it back together. and put it in. Just like this. Go ahead and tighten this bad boy up some. Get it moved up there right where I want it. Oh. If you notice, I'll put all mine about the same, about like this, and I won't completely tighten this. I'll leave it loose a little. All right, I'll leave it loose a little just to where I can put my thing on, but if you notice my, uh, my engine support's right in the way, of course it is. All right, slide that in. I'm not touching here. I like that. I'm good. So now I'm going to make sure it's straight because I'm OCD. So now we're good on straightness. So now I'm going to take my block, my block, because <coughs> I'm good there. I know that's where I want that. That's pretty perfect. Now I'm going to take this block, I'm going to loosen it up, and then I'm going to put this on. And I just, I always, I don't know why, I just slide them on, put them on like that, slide it on up there, put my bolt back in, tighten it down a little. And I will tell you, these brackets will fit the 225 Echo Trimmer. They are small enough to fit, which means, just giving you a heads up, if you're running a bigger shaft trimmer, like the 280, um, the 2620, anything like that, then you can over tighten these and bend your shaft. So you do not want to do that. All right, so I got that there. 
Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to line it up. I'm going to push it in there exactly where I want it to go. All right, so I want it right there. Now I'm just going to tighten this up. All right, now I know exactly. I've got everything where I want it. Everything's exactly the way I need it. So now I'm just going to tighten all this up. You just want to snug it. If you tighten it too tight, once again, it will bend the shaft. So you don't want to over tighten it. All right. Now we'll do the bottom one here. Just snug. They're not going anywhere, I promise. All right. Now we got that exactly where we want it. Now we can just slide it right in. There you go. You're good. It's not going anywhere. Now then, we can fix this mount. Of course. So that's how easy that is. Now let me fix this mount. All right, guys. All right, guys, so the number one thing to remember is always, always do your bottom first. Do your bottom one first, okay? So uh, that way you can adjust the rest of them however you want, whenever you get going. So I've got my bottom one adjusted here. <coughs> now I know exactly this is going to stay. This ain't going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this and this up. All right, now then I can put my mount on this one. We can see what's gonna happen here. All right, now then, I know that's where I want my mount to be. Just toward the end, just like that. Cause that's how I make all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. All right, now I can adjust this. Now I know exactly, I want this to be adjusted up some, because I always put a little pressure on it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit, just to get it going. All right, now then let's see where we're at here. Perfect. All right, so we're good on that one. Let's go ahead and tighten it down. All right, guys, it's going to do it for the installation of the Equipment Defender three tier, two tier, four tier, it don't matter what tier you got. All going to mount the same way. Hope you enjoyed the step by step video of how everything works how to install everything hopefully this helps you out thanks for watching guys don't forget if you decide to buy some of these code Lanier will save you 10 percent off and uh we'll see you in the next one All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this step-by-step -step process of how everything works, how to mount everything. If not, I'm sorry, but uh, hopefully this helps you out. If you do have a PAS system, you take these uh, end brackets, and instead of mounting them to go this way, put them right here, mount them to go in like that. That way you push your PAS system in, and uh, nobody can just undo it and take it apart. So, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget, if you plan on buying some Equipment Defender stuff, Code Lanier will save you 10% as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.